Red Wing started with the salt clays, which you've already seen. Then we went to the whiteware, where people now were moving to the small towns into bigger cities. And in that process, they didn't need the bigger crocs. Red Wing switched over to what we call kitchenware. This is a line of cherry band pitchers. This line is kind of unique because they have advertising on them. That meant that a store bought it and gave them away. Here's an example. In 1914, if you lived in Red Wing and you shopped at the Becker store and, and you bought $25 worth of groceries that year, you were able to get one of these pitchers made by Red Wing and given away by the store. These are some other examples of kitchenware. These are called sponge pieces. You can see the sponge that were actually used. You would take the sponge into the cobalt and dip it around the whole item. Then you do it in the red and go around the whole items. These are examples of jugs, pitchers, and bowls. Spongeware, very collectible. Up above is a set of sponge panel bowls. In 1920, Red Wing introduced another line called Sponge Band. It was also called Gray Line. You can see the sponge in between the blue lines. This was one of the most complete lines Red Wing made. You can start with a cake plate, refrigerator jars, casseroles, custard cups. Again, this line was used for advertising also. So a lot of these items had advertising on, shipped to the store to be given away. On the top, you're going to see the complete set of bowls in gray line sponge band. In 1930, Red Wing introduced the saffron wear line. It's very similar to the gray line. It's done in yellows. It also was used for advertising. So a lot of these items have advertising on them. Red Wing made fruit jars. It started in 1899. The first were called Mason Fruit Jars, made by Union Stoneware Company. These were very successful. They felt they were far superior to glass because light would not come through. The problem was, unless you had marked it clearly what it was, you had no idea what was in it until you opened it up. Red Wing got sued and had to change the name to Red Wing Stoneware Fruit Jars. Mason would not let them use their names. So here are examples of the later ones. We're now looking at advertising pieces. These are pieces that were made by Red Wing. You can see all the different advertising. There's mugs, there's jugs, there's bottles, all different type of items. These were shipped all over the United States. This top shelf here represents items that went to Canada. They went to California, they went to Texas, they went to Chicago, some even to New York. Red Wing made items and were shipped all over the United States to be given away or sold. We're still talking about kitchenware. On the top shelf are beater jars. The centerpiece is an ice bucket. These are jugs that were used. These are pantry jars down here. Again, your flour, your coffee, your sugar would be in them. A functional item, but look how well they're done and with the two colors. This is a cut flower vase. As you come over here, you're going to look at one gallon Crocs, 20 pound butters. People ask, why did you need a 20 pound butter? Because if you made butter in a five or six gallon churn, you would need a 20 pound butter crock to put them in. Here are some more pantry jars. As you come over here, you're going to see water coolers. This one has advertising, sweet apple cider. Up above, you've got iced tea coolers. These are all examples of kitchen items.